Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to, if I'm honest, I don't even, I honestly don't even know how to really, like, say this without it sounding complicated. Okay, we're going to take a number range. If you don't know what a number range is, it's like, it's a thing in math where, like, you have a minimum and a maximum, right? Minimum means the smallest, maximum means the largest or highest, as you said, right? And I'm going to show you how to choose, like, it's going to choose a random number between the minimum and maximum. Say if your minimum, like, for the for the um the the, um, the 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 thumbnail for the video, right? You saw the numbers one to five, right? If you don't know the dash represents two, but anyway, um, so using uh using math dot random and stuff, that would then give me a number between one like one to five. It would either give me one, two, three, four, or five. It wouldn't go any higher than five. It wouldn't give me zero or any negatives pretty much and stuff right but it'll, it'll probably make more sense when i go into the video i know the title sounds confusing but yeah thank you guys for watching we're about to hit three, 340 subscribers and yeah let's get straight into it i'm trying to think of some more content to drop you guys especially since it's christmas time and yeah but yeah let's get straight into it though all right so we can just head on over to service script service insert a service script and we'll just call this our number script right <clears throat> this video is honestly going to be like two minutes long this is really not gonna be long at all okay so let's do math dot random right math dot random right returns a random number within the range provided so math dot random you put your minimum m stands for wait i wonder if it does stand for minimum the point is m is your minimum n is your maximum right so <clears throat> let's say you want to do 10 to 15 right and then you're gonna put a print. You should probably should have put the print first, but it doesn't really matter. So do okay here. Clear all that, and then do print in parentheses. Then do math dot random. Then one fifteen, right? So we can just go ahead and click run since what we're doing doesn't require an actual. It just requires a server to start and not an actual player to join, right? So you see, provide me with a random number between that range, right? Seven, right? This also does work with negatives. Like if you wanted to do negative one to negative fifteen, that would work. Right. <clears throat> oh. It doesn't work with negatives? I swear I thought it worked with negatives. Wait, Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. I forgot, I forgot. I'm sorry. I remember I tried to do this before, but it didn't work before. Sorry guys. It does not work with negatives. At least two negatives. It might work with like a negative and a positive or actually no, I don't think it works I don't think it works with negatives at all. So someone could correct me in the comments, I don't think it works with negatives. But yeah, that's honestly how you use math.random. It's pretty simple. It's honestly very useful and stuff. Like say you went like for like I don't know, like percentages and stuff, like a spawn system and stuff like that. Like say you had like a table, right? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, did not mean to do that. I forgot, bro. This okay. There we go. So, see, so you had a table, right? We had local, local math or local numbers, right? <laughs> we had a table, right? Oh, let me actually is equal to, and then here's my table, right? And then say you had like percentages and stuff, right? Like. For like let's say magic right you had like fire fire you know what i'm saying it's just like we'll say fire is like 80 percent since that's a pretty common thing you had ice equal to fifth uh ice is equal to 70 percent right oh let me put a semicolon here right or wait sorry not semicolon comp wait what i forgot what it is expect identifier percent yeah Oh, 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 I forgot. You can't do it like that. Eighty percent, and then yeah, there, you go, there, you go. I forgot. You can't. I can't. I forgot you can't write it like that. Anyway, right. So let's say eighty, then seventy percent, right? Right, and then let's say you had um, I don't know, like darkness. Yeah, like darkness, right? Then that's ten percent, right? Now, obviously, you would do two number from this, right? Like, you would do two number. It would take the string, and then it would convert it to a number, right? But anyway, so let's say you had that, right? And you're trying to get a percentage, right? So a percentage, so a percentage is kind of basic math, really, and stuff. Like, obviously, 10, 10, you could really do, you would do just 10 out of 100, right? Because the percentages are out of one, percentages is out of 100%, right? So you would just do out of 100. So pretty much darkness is a 10 and 100 chance. So you pretty much you could do math.random ten 
you could do one to one hundred or yeah, yeah you could do one to one hundred right or no let's do ten to one hundred right and then you would and then you would just say if the math number is equal to let's say if um if you made this a variable right we said local number is equal to math dot random right and then if we said and then we could be like if number is I don't know, uh, greater than or equal, or, hmm, I'm trying to think, oh no, less than or equal to, let's say, 10%, right, or 10, we'll say, right, if it's, then it'll be darkness, then darkness, then we'll say, well, obviously, I can't reference it, but darkness equals true, we'll just use as an example, right, and then you can do else if number, less than or equal to 70%, right? Then we would do ice equals true and so forth, right? It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, let's say you use math.random and stuff. Uh, I might drop a video on how to use a random number generator or how to how to use, how to make one and stuff. Thank you for watching this video. I know this video wasn't really, this is only about a few people, but hopefully it does help out some people though, needing to use this and stuff. Appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys and thank you guys for watching.